Ja. Leading figures from business, the arts, sports, media and politics were honoured over the weekend as Yahoo's inaugural Singapore 9. The headline winner was veteran opposition leader Cham Si Tong, who despite having recently recovered from a stroke, showed his star power on Friday night. Oh, I feel very honoured. Especially when I've got such prestigious guests as the Prime Minister and Mr. Vijay Singh. He hopes others will follow his example. People now are more daring. They dare to speak up. And they feel that what they are contributing is to the democratic process. They should not be afraid. Singapore is definitely changing. And we are establishing a democracy a brand of his own, which is suited for Singapore. Business winner David Gerald was surprised as he had voted for someone else in his category. I suppose the recognition here given to me is because of uh, you know the issues that I've championed for the downtrodden and the small ones, small people. We don't work for recognition, we don't work for awards, but I think uh, it's certainly nice to be recognised. Even nominees who went away empty-handed were happy that Yahoo was giving Singaporeans recognition. I think if you look at, for example, the comments after each article on Yahoo, you get hundreds, sometimes thousands of comments. So that gives you an indication of the people, uh, who, the number of people who are reading. I was just very uh, proud to be there. I, I didn't really like. I didn't really mind whether I like didn't win or anything. I was just happy to be there. I was also quite shocked at first. Filmmaker Royston Tan dedicated his award to his parents. I wanted to uh, give it to them because they, 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 I didn't give up because they were always behind me, pushing me and telling me that, hey Royston, you, you can do it, yeah. He said nurturing homegrown talent was a process that takes time and effort. I mean, we have like five million people now. There's, there's no way that you can tell me we have no talents. Uh, I mean, our government imports a lot of talents also. So, but I think what we need is just really time to, because talents needs to be nurtured. It's not like instant noodles, yeah. So we have to give them time to nurture and, and making mistakes is part of learning too. Well, the thing is that I think Singaporeans, we are a little bit shy about acknowledging the talented people in our midst. And I think that we need to be proactively and really just doing that. This is Jeanette Tan reporting for Yahoo News. Yahoo!